OP Financial Group's operating profit grew clearly from a year ago and totaled at 1,570 million euros. Our total income grew by 45% and total expenses by 10% year on year. The loan portfolio and deposits both decreased slightly. The loan portfolio by 2% and the deposits by 5% year on year. Despite the challenging economic environment and rises in interest rates, the loan repayment capacity of our customers remained good. All three business segments performed well in the reporting period. In retail banking, operating profit growth was strong and operating profit grew by over 170%, mainly driven by increase in net interest income. Also, the earnings in corporate banking and insurance improved clearly from a year ago. OP Financial Group's CET1 ratio continued to be very strong. Our CET ratio was at 19.1%, which exceeds the minimum regulatory requirement by 6.8 percentage points. Let's take a closer look to the PL items. When we look at the year on year chains, we see that OP Financial Group's net interest income grew by over 85%. A rise in market interest rates increased net interest income. Net commissions and fees decreased slightly to 685 million euros. OP Financial Group has applied IFR 17 insurance contracts as of 1st of January 2023. The insurance service result was lower than a year ago. Our reinsurance costs increased and the claims expenditure related to the medical expenses insurance rose to the higher claims volumes. However, number of large claims decreased year on year. OP Financial Group's investment income developed well and grew by approximately 112% as a result of the increase in the value of shares. Then moving on the expenses side, uh, despite the high inflation, OP Financial Group's costs remained well under control with growth rate of 10% from a year earlier. Personal costs increased by 14%. The increase was affected by higher headcount growth in provision for performance-based bonuses, as well as pay rises. Other operating expenses increased by 12%. Depreciation and impairment losses decreased year on year. Our impairment loss on loans and receivables totaled at 170 million euros. Expected credit losses concerning the real estate and construction sector increased. The ratio of impairment loss on receivables to the loan book and guarantee portfolio was 22 basis points. OP Financial Group's CD1 ratio continued to be very strong at 19.1%, up by 1.4 percentage points from a year ago. 19.1 exceeds the minimum regulatory requirement by 6.8 percentage points. OP's strong capital position makes us one of the most financially solid large banks in Europe. Our funding position and liquidity continue to be stable and very strong. At the end of reporting period, our liquidity coverage ratio was 217% and net stable funding ratio was 126%. Both ratios are on a strong level. So to summarize, OP Financial Group's operations are performing strongly with operating profit of 1,570 million euros in the first nine months of this year. OP Financial Group has a strong capital adequacy and excellent liquidity.